To the north and west of Ireland's County Donegal is windswept Tory Island, surrounded by the hungry waves of the Atlantic. Less than 200 people live here, including Ireland's last and only king, a tradition that goes back 1,400 years. Uh, my name is Patsy Dan Rogers, the King of Tory, as they say, and uh, uh, you're very welcome to Tory Island. As King of the Island, Patsy's role is mostly symbolic. In the 6th century, a visiting saint created the role in order to unify the islanders in defense of pirates. But Patsy is very proud of his island's rich heritage. We have our own Gaelic language. Everyone speaks Gaelic on the island. We have a, a very strong culture, musicians. Patsy's duties as king are few, but he takes his role as island ambassador very seriously. People come from various parts of the world, from a number of countries, to meet me and to see me on the island and to talk to me. When I accepted the simple uh, honor of the king, I thought it would never come to what it did come to now. Uh, it's quite serious now. Of the roughly 150 people who live on Tory Island, many are over 65 years old, and the island struggles for tourism and help from the mainland. I'm over 70, many are over 70, and the island is not going to really depend on, on, on uh, that type of age, you know, as much as we'd like to. They would like to see now the population of the island uh, growing and also a few jobs to teenagers and the island to start swinging again. Patsy may be the only Irish king, but his hope is that he won't be the last. There were five of us. When I'm on my dying bed, or hopefully before that, somebody will come up and uh, offer to take the honor of the king on the island. Yes, Danny, go, Danny.